hello, hello. What's up, everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and I just got done watching the season 13, I believe. 13 seasons of Supernatural. This is the finale. And this season has been crazy. So much going on, especially with this other world dimension thing. <laughs> if if I wasn't so used to the Flash and Arrow and all of those shows having so many Earths and so many different versions of themselves, it, uh, like I would be more lost <laughs> on all of this Elseworld stuff that Supernatural has now done. So at the end of the last episode, we saw that they got over a few people and they saved them. Sam left Lucifer over there with Michael. And it's so weird with Lucifer. It's something about how the way the actor plays him to where there are moments where I hate him, where I don't trust him, where he's deceitful because he's, well, he's Lucifer. And then there's moments where I feel bad for him and I almost think he might be telling the truth or he's sympathetic. Like when Sam did that, I felt a little bad for him. But then you see at the beginning of this episode, somebody died, one of the members of the people that they brought over. So they're trying to figure out who killed her. Jack is upset because he seems to hurt people over and over again. And Jack is an interesting character because originally I didn't like him. I didn't like him. I didn't care for the actor. I just thought it was going to be a weird thing. And I've grown to like him a little bit more. But I wouldn't have been so against Lucifer maybe converting Jack and turning him evil and having Jack be the villain for next season. We obviously didn't get that. But still, it was something that I thought they were edging towards. Especially when he comes into contact with Lucifer and Lucifer uh, talks about, hey, we can go to the universe. I, I can give you Star Wars. I can do this and that. Also, Bobby and uh, Winchester Mom, the two of them hanging out. It's cool to see Elseworld Bobby uh, back in the group. Sure, he's going to be a little different, probably a little bit more of a hard edge. He doesn't have as much of a connection to Sam and Dean as our Bobby did, but it's just, it's nice to see the actor back. It's nice that uh, somehow this show used this other world to bring back characters that, let's be honest, should not have been killed off, especially Charlie. It was a sin. It was a crime that they killed Charlie back in season 10. I'm so glad that she's back. She was not in this episode. I don't know why. I don't know where she was. I don't know where any of the people that they brought over were, but look, if we can get her for next season, if we can almost guarantee that, hey, you will see Charlie around, I would like her to stay at the bunker and be like a part of the team. Why not? And uh, the moment where Sam and Dean were talking about retirement, I like that conversation because it's true. It is something that they've earned. They've killed countless monsters, countless demons, countless just world ending events they prevented it's like when are they ever going to get a break not as long as cw wants to keep this show going they won't so you have to come up with more and more ways to keep a threat alive and bringing back lucifer i thought was a good way to do it i really enjoy the actor having michael even though it's the michael from the other world seeing that we eventually come to a point where because jack injures michael uh, and, and Lucifer gets overpowered by cutting Jack's throat and taking some of his grace and teleporting with Sam out of there. Dean accepts Michael into his body, which I know sounds really weird, but that's what happens. And I like that they even flash back to like season five where that was a whole thing, right? Dean having to let Michael take control of his body to, to fight Lucifer even back then. This has been... Eight years later that they finally pay this off with Dean possessed by Michael, even though technically Dean is in the driver's seat this time around, going to fight Lucifer, a fight that I I remember I wanted to see in season five where they kept building to it and they kept teasing you and kept saying that this is a, this is the apocalypse. This is a world ending event of Michael versus Lucifer. Big out all in all brawl and obviously this show the budget couldn't afford to do it for real 
and go all out. So they did what they did, and it was great. Season 5's finale was amazing. To see them fight here was, I admit, a little silly. <laughs> you almost go, oh, that's why they didn't do it. Because they were clearly on wires, and they were swinging around, and it just it looked, it, it just it didn't look great. Didn't look great. Sam throws the knife up to Dean, and he stabs Lucifer, and Lucifer dies. A part of me was sad to see Lucifer die just because it's like, is that really the end of Lucifer? Uh, can you have a world that doesn't have Satan himself around? What would that be like? And then as they're happy about it and congratulating, you know each and every one of these seasons ends in a cliffhanger that's shocking and surprising and a little downbeat. And this did not disappoint. Michael takes control over Dean's body. Which I was wondering when, when Dean let him do that, wasn't the whole deal that this was like a one-way thing that if Dean let Michael possess him, that Dean was going to die? That's what I thought they were saying. The angel said, hey, like you won't come back from this. He will fry you so much because he's so powerful inside of you that this is it. So I guess we're not going to do that. We're just going to have Michael take over and possess Dean and I'm of two ways about this there's a part of me that doesn't like it just because we've already had Dean get possessed uh, at the end of season nine uh, which was a really great cliffhanger of him dying Crowley having him get possessed his eyes opening as with black eyes as a demon and you're like holy shit I could not wait for season 10 i could not wait to see what they were going to do and then in season 10 we got silliness and jokiness of demon dean doing karaoke and doing all the stuff that was not scary or intimidating at all a complete waste so now so many years later you could do this again but this time have him evil this time have him empowering and threatening and, and just a force to be reckoned with you can do that this time around but it does feel like you did this already. It does feel like we've already done something like this. So it was fine. I think overall the episode was good. Overall, this season has been really good. Supernatural has been able to stay at a certain level of, of quality to where, yeah, it probably should have ended at five. But somehow they've been able to have at least good enough seasons to where it warrants the show sticking around. Season seven wasn't the greatest. My lowest my most disliked season was season 10 but still they bounced back from that season 11 12 now 13 they've been doing well we're gonna get 14 now so let's see what they have in store so guys let me know in the comments below what did you think of not only the finale but all of season 13 did you like it did you love it what are your predictions what are you looking forward to for next season thanks for watching like comment subscribe Later! Please won't you save me? Give fire, hunt fire. Sometimes you need a little piece of hope. Hunt fire, that's all.